nothing much, just intake, exhaust. It's a pretty good car. What we're gonna be doing today is at Bike Quest that we're gonna install an aftermarket oil cooler. We're gonna replace all four O2 sensors. And you see that the check engine light is on. So that is the main project of the day. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this car to my house. My driveway is a little bit steep that this car can make it. This car is super hammered. So let's try to see if we can try and get into the driveway and hopefully we can make it up to the house. Honestly, thought that it was it was gonna make it anyways. That's why I didn't have any doubt. So here are all the parts that is laid out right here. We got the four O2 sensors here. Here is the lines, oil sandwich. We got the clamps. Here is line racing aftermarket oil cooler. Also comes with the bracket over here. And also don't forget the hardware that comes with it. See, so yeah, all this part is gonna be mounted on this Z. somewhere around here and this bracket piece over here that's gonna mount on top the oil cooler so the brand Raceland over here did actually put labels you can see there is 350z and 370z we're gonna go with the 370z because this is what it's made for on this car so I think it mounts just like that kind of lines up with the hole that's where the oil cooler is gonna sit we do have our hardware over right here they already come with clips so we're gonna go ahead and put these two clips in there on this back and on top of the oil cooler and it should be pretty straightforward Honestly, thought that it was just gonna come with like regular screws or bolts, though. But this has Allen on it. Bad news is that I don't have my Allen tools with me. So therefore, we're gonna head to my shop, pick up a couple of my tools. Hopefully, we don't forget anything else, and then we should be good to go from there. This whole week has been super hot and humid. I know that last night it got a little bit cooler. It was windy and it kind of rained though in town. This month and last month has been super, super hot. It is literally raining on the top, guys. So we need to really bang this up before it rains down here. Well, we got a little bit of situation over here. So if you look at these two Allen screw right here, one is longer, one is shorter. They only come with three, which is kind of odd though, but two of the long bolts hold up into this. I tried putting this short screw in here and it doesn't work. So oil cooler sits on top of the bracket. So if we try to put this screw in, barely has any threaded now when i try to screw it in with the nut it doesn't even bite all right so i did found a couple bolts and nuts to kind of make it work as of for now temporary so until then we can find the proper bolts and nuts we can start mounting the oil cooler and holding down to the bracket 
as you can see there is the white seal tape on there on the threads all your color lines they are not tight right now because before i get to tighten it we need to route those lines on the side of the car and to the oil filter housing and we also have to put seal tape on top here as well and then put everything on and see how everything goes you guys we put in the oil sandwich we will put in the fitting the lines run everything to the oil filter housing and when i have it start up it's been getting leaks like three different areas first one two fittings here on the oil sandwich leaks whether i use teflon whether if it's tight still constantly leaks it did have an o-ring gaskets over here but every time i tighten it it just squished down it doesn't look like it's sealed correctly so i took that out anyways put teflon three times still constantly leak so this is where we at so basically what i use is silicone so i took out these two fittings put silicone thread it back in we're gonna let it dry for at least a couple of hours or maybe till tomorrow morning and both sides of the islands are also have silicone on top there tightening it and we're gonna wait till tomorrow morning so we're in a situation where this car is just gonna sit till tomorrow morning put this back on start it up and see if it still leaks if it still leaks then we end up by just taking the whole oil cooler assembly kit off and just put the oil for back then and then either get another brand or maybe just don't run it at all that's what i've been kind of dealing with for the past couple of hours because i just want to make sure that it's literally going to be fixable literally it's not going to leak it's all that situation you never know what parts you're gonna get from somewhere online until you actually put it on and then something goes wrong after at the meantime well it depends so i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up right now it's now the next morning guys so last night i was trying to bang everything out getting the oil cooler kit going uh, replacing the O2 sensors on the primary secondary on bank one and two so here we are right now so we have a little bit of a situation because this headers is an aftermarket and you can see that the primary and secondary O2 bong is located close to the flange stock headers is located at the top so being said that the primary O2 sensor is a little bit short it won't able to reach that bong right there so the plans was we're gonna extend the wires a little bit longer to plug into the the top of the engine where this is plug in of the engine harness and run all the way down to that bung right there so that's where we have right now so we're gonna go ahead and start doing the two primaries o2 sensor in bank one and two and then get that out of the way
finishing up with the car guys check and gel i did came back on for the same codes nothing that we can really do about i know that sometimes that when we buy uh, sensors online some are like either defective some are generics you never know when you come across with some parts online and you know it is what it is and if this car had like a stock headers i think that we wouldn't have any trouble cut and extend the wires to the auto sensor to make it work on this car we actually had to take out the oil cooler kit off on this car so when we put that oil sandwich back on every time we start it up it ends up leaking from the fitting that goes on top of the oil filter sandwich and every time i tighten it it just keeps leaking i kept putting teflon just keeps leaking and then there's an allen screw that's also that is on the oil sandwich was found loose and was still leaking we basically kind of took everything off pretty much it just feels like we didn't fix anything but it is what it is it happens you know not everything else is gonna go well according to plan but at least that the car is running it's running good still this car is, is a beast. If I had a 370Z, I think I would build it as a drift car. I always wanted a rear wheel drive and always wanted to do like a donut. But maybe in the future, I'll probably pick up something that is a rear wheel drive. These cars do sound really good on V6 with a full exhaust system. And I love it how the thing just sounds so aggressive. Like it sounds really, really good. But this car does really, really stand out. Perfect word the setup is that. I'm gonna wrap up the video guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Aloha and I'll see you guys on the next one.